In the previous video, we discussed decentralized finance in general, its definition, and we've explained how we are going to make money using lending. Before watching this video, please first watch the first one if you haven't, so you have a background on what we are going to talk about in this video. The link for part 1 is in the description below. You better watch it first and go back here. However, if you've already seen the first part of this video, let's recap. So far, we've talked about what DeFi means and how they function in making money in the crypto world. Now we are done with the first way to make money with DeFi called lending. We also discussed the three benefits of using decentralized finance. Having higher rates, having complete control over your money, and being collateralized. Before continuing, be sure to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up if you're pleased with what we're doing. Aside from lending, there is another way to make money. Provide liquidity. But generally, providing liquidity is riskier. Let me first give you an idea of what this means. In the old financial world, when people would sell things like stocks, we would literally have to find buyers for them. For example, a buyer placed an order that read, I want to buy 10 pairs of stocks for $150. They had to wait for a seller to agree, and the trade would take place. Code and programming allow us to handle all these transactions much more efficiently. Within the world of DeFi, we use algorithms of a special nature. These algorithms are called Collateralized Debt Positions, or CDPs. They allow users to lend their crypto assets in exchange for interest payments paid out in DAI, or stablecoin. This system works by having people lock up their crypto assets as collateral in return for access to liquid funds in DAI. If a user wants to withdraw their DAI, they can unlock their collateral by paying back their loans plus interest. Now the drawback is that there's this ugly thing called impermanent losses, which means if one of the tokens you use to gamble goes up or down significantly, you will not have made as much money as you would have if you simply waited to buy that token. So you're trading potential gains and losses with a trade fee. On balance, most of the time, you'll make more from trading than you'll lose in the landing process. Nonetheless, we want to provide you with valuable advice. So let's go over three specific ways to be more liquid, starting from the least risky. Providing liquidity to stable coins is the least risky course of action, so it's the safest option. And this is because the price of both tokens should stay the same, meaning that you will never see the price appreciation, and your initial deposit will remain stable. I mean this because you can deposit USD or Tether tokens and trade them back and forth with the USD coin. And you can do it using your money. An example might be that somebody could come along and want to USDT, but he or she has USDC, so this person will have to trade. Then some other person could come along and make the reverse trade. And so in all of this, the person will be paying small fees which you will be earning. That means that if the crypto market drops by 50% or even 80%, you will still have your initial deposit without the risk of losing it in a crypto crash. Later, if you're feeling brave, you can pull a little of your portfolio into stronger coins that might have been exposed to each other to earn the exchange's trading fees. The finance pool ATR AI Crypto is a perfect example. Deposit 33% stablecoins, 33% Ethereum, and 33% Bitcoin, and then make swaps by charging traders. These traders usually pay Ethereum and Bitcoin as they are the most traded currencies. With this, you can significantly reduce your risk of one of these coins collapsing while earning a decent amount in fees due to the high number of people constantly trading back and forth. If you want to go wild and reap really high rewards like 500%, you can provide liquidity to coins with high risk potential. Most people receive high tips for accepting high risk tokens or tokens with lots of potentials. One risk is that your tokens will lose their value. On the upside, the trade-off is a high interest rate, but you're exposed to something called the magical effect in the event you offer to provide liquidity. Previously, I said that hardly any beginners actually understand the immutable loss, so this is where liquidity is created. Your share's total value is less than it would have been if you had simply just held the tokens you provided. Changes in the price of the token make a more significant difference. The higher the price goes and the bigger the drop. So how do you set up liquidity? It's not that difficult, but it does take some time. The first thing you want to do is find an exchange where you can deposit tokens and then provide these tokens to other people who want to swap them. But let's also take a look at one more way you can make money on DeFi. Incentives. This one is easy. What is, you just have to know about it. In this section, I will detail two different methods. When advertising, you have incentives and you have airdrops. Let's imagine you're in charge of advertising a blockchain network in order to get people to learn more about it and start using it. The problem is, how do you do that? You could buy a billboard and it might work. Most people who see that billboard doesn't know anything about crypto, as the industry is in its early stages. If you're strapped for cash, there's always buying advertising space on the internet, and this leaves victims susceptible to scammers, which often trick their victims by running ads, taking money, and then disappearing from the web, sometimes never to be seen again. So, most internet-based advertisers will not accept cryptocurrency for any form of advertising. Therefore, radio and TV ads cannot be counted on to help us with a budget, which begs the question, what do we do? How does one go about promoting it? 
Let's say you took that advertising money and just gave it to the people using your blockchain. This way, and then they become more interested in the project and let their friends and family know. Plus, you can verify that your marketing money is paying off by simply checking the blockchain. This is happening right now in the crypto industry. They even have a promotional program called the Avalanche Rush Incentive, where they offer free tokens simply for using the blockchain. On the day they launched it, the prize was worth $180 million. The increased value of the token, along with the NEAR blockchain's $800 million incentive program, means that it's now valued at over $720 million. Rather than basic digital transactions, Phantom Network will give users millions of dollars to develop certain applications on their blockchain. Simply put, they'll be paying users just for using their platforms and blockchains. As for you, you may be one of those people. Regarding the switch to a new platform, there are airdrops that I will explain in a simplistic way. If you're a company and you want to be publicly traded, you sell your shares, and people who buy them are entitled to the company's profits. In addition, they are granted a vote in the decision made by the company. With a vast majority of cryptocurrency exchanges starting out, it may be worth considering one of the coins from those exchanges set up in the vein of company shares. If you own a significant number of tokens, you get a cut of the platform's profits and a say in the direction the platform will go in the future. ENS launched a token a few weeks ago for people who have been loyal to their platform. ENS looked for active participants of their platform to be among the first holders of the new token. This is called an airdrop, so everyone who had an account with the platform before a specific date and signed up with this promo code has been awarded free tokens. Several companies, including Coinbase and other market movers, picked up all the tokens. That caused the price to rise all the way up to $80 per token. Well, anyway, that's the second valuable airdrop I've ever received. The first was for signing up for a blockchain bridge which we have a video about, and that airdrop was worth around $1,500. In closing, with all this money moving into crypto and blockchain technology, you'll earn a decent amount of money by simply staying in the industry, keeping an eye out, and paying attention. As more people take advantage of this phenomenon, incentives, airdrops, and interest rates will decrease. And while loaning money, be careful not to get scammed. You may find our videos helpful, and if you did, show your support by pressing the like button or by checking out our other videos. I guarantee you'll find something new. Anyway, I have a statement to make at the end of this video. In my disclaimer, don't think I am taking a dig at BlockFi with this video. I think the whole thing is meant to get people interested in cryptocurrencies, but from what I've read so far, it's just another mechanism for third parties to make money off your money and keep some for themselves. On the other hand, they might be the much needed on-ramp to widespread adoption. Either way, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We sincerely hope you have learned something new and enjoyed watching this. That's a wrap for a two-part video about DeFi. See you in the next videos.